Hey, I'm Andy Aldert. In this edition of In Deep, we're going to continue looking at ways to emulate vocal parts on the guitar. And as a template, we're going to be using the Howlin' Wolf classic, uh, Commit a Crime, which is also known as I'm Leaving You, and it's also known as Wood a Woman. There's a fantastic version on the Howlin' Wolf London Sessions. It features Eric Clapton and Hubert Sumlin, Charlie Watts, uh, Bill Wyman's great version. And um, what's different about this and what's fun is you have a primary riff, the main riff of the tune, and then the vocal part uh, alternates against that riff and it goes back and forth. So the goal, once again, is through the single note lines, emulate the vocal part. And a guy like Steve Ray Vaughan, who played this song often, he would play the riff, uh, play on guitar the riffs that he was singing. So this is... Uh, an incarnation of that approach to the tune. Here we go. this tune that's along the lines of uh, Helen Wolf's Commit a Crime, also known as I'm Leaving You, also known as What a Woman, revolves around this primary riff and then the vocal parts alternate between the primary riff uh, and it goes back and forth. So the primary riff is this. <laughs> to open low E, and then pull R on the D and the G at the second fret, and then a quick hammer, and you have to lean over. So, repeat, and then, so we have second fret of the B, third fret of the high E, and you push a little bit. And then the second time we go down to the low E. So. And you can see I'm playing this fretted E with the top two every time. Then we get, uh, in bar five, we get into the melody and it's a three on two. Bop, 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 against two beats. Bop, 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 bop. So the second phrase, same thing. Ooh, bop, 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 bop. But the phrasing is a little bit different. So we start again. Index finger bend release. And then the riff one time. Then back to the two on three thing. With the little twister. Pull up. Just trying to make it more vocal like. Especially with that bend with the minor third of the major third. So that was similar to uh, the earlier phrase in bar eight. twist here. That slide up. Very vocal like. Uh -huh. 
Tumlin, Buddy Guy, those quick pull uh, uh, push ups, push up, pull back. So, the thing to remember is you have your solid riff of the tune. can improvise on but when you play your melody so think about the words so if you think about the voice and what it would be like to sing those riffs then the riffs you play are going to be more appropriate and more vocal-like. <laughs> 